today's the day, so stand up and shout, GGO, we got to play to win, GGO, let the games begin, you and your team, keep getting better, you're good alone, but better together, GGO, you got to play to win, GGO, Team Barefoot and Team Protective played the second half of that crucial game at full offensive force. But Protective's defensive steel wall propelled all of Team Barefoot's attacks. With a match tied at one goal each, Barefoot faced the probability of elimination until an error gave them a penalty kick. Myth took a big shot, which was saved by Shield, but he couldn't control the rebound, and Myth kicked it in, putting him into the final 16. arson crafts class in your head you will find the score we will beat you by and that is at least five nothing five nothing <laughs> who knows baby it might even be ten nothing <laughs> that's right you heard it here first the score is ten nothing so bye bye she's there nice to meet you have fun in the beginning <laughs> Those arrogant! Uh, I'm gonna uh, clobber uh, them! Go uh, uh, down, cat! Uh. Well, it's easy to see what that team's secret is. And what's that? Well, they're crazy, obviously. Mm. It's okay, it's not crying, kids. I know you must be terrified right now. You can forfeit the game if you want. We're gonna forfeit! Damn it! Uh -oh. If you're gonna copy me, then say the same thing as me! Don't go and say the opposite thing! Say the opposite thing? Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! Don't underestimate us! Underestimate us! Oh, who did that? We won't forget this mistreatment. We'll be back, I swear! We swear! We are gonna beat you 10 nothing! 10 nothing! Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> See you later, <laughs> gorillas! Wow, I've never seen anyone more like gorillas than those two crazy clowns. <laughs> As you know, we were in the group stage before, but now we are in the elimination round, so we have to win every game, and if we lose, we're automatically out. 
So those freaky controllers are actually real magicians? I seriously doubt they're able to use any kind of magic. Well, of course they do! Every magician has to know magic. It's a rule! Well, so what if they do anyway? They may have magic, but we have, um... Oh, you have... Fudgeball skills and good friends and a gorgeous head cheerleader. Thanks, but could you please stop being so totally embarrassing all the time, Kat? Oh, but it's the truth! Not only am I gorgeous, but you guys are definitely brothers in arms now after everything you've been through, aren't you? Huh? Uh... <laughs> Sean has gone from being a stranger to, uh, to a friend. A friend that you die for. Anyway, hey guys, look at the data. It's a bit odd. Yeah, very odd. Definitely. For sure. I, I agree. Uh, what's so strange about it? What? Come on, Cat. don't tell me you can't see it. But, uh, what is so strange about it? Well, look at their challenging group match statistics. They got 30 yellow cards altogether, but not one single red card ever. Oh, right, you mean that part. You mean you were <laughs> acting like you knew what it was? Shh, huh? guys, let's look at footage from some of their games. Average, actually, it's boring. They play the same as any other team. Yeah, right. They're just kicking the ball around. Hey, Sean, did you see that? Yes, I sure did. What? what? See what? what? Huh? huh? Why did he jump back and let the opponent steal his ball? That's crazy. I saw it that time. I guess he must be scared of that guy or something. Maybe he's really ugly. I don't think so. I think he got hit. Look carefully at his right hand. There. Hey, why wasn't the whistle blown? Hey, that was a red card for sure. Why didn't the electronic referee call that? Look, no call was made because he was blocked by the other guy. Unbelievable! I bet that's their tactic. One of them cheats while the other one blocks the referee. Okay, but there are at least three officials at every GGO game, so what were the other two doing? Looks like the camera didn't pick it up. But they're up high, meaning they should be able to see any violation that happens on the field. Well, then it's obvious what's going on, isn't it? They found a way to bribe the electronic referees! Referees are robots, you idiot! Robots! Hold on, I think Timmy might be right about this. Robots can be bribed. See, you just have to use something other than money. Huh? Yeah. To bribe a robot, you just need a female robot. <laughs> it's true. All anybody wants is to be loved. Robots as well. Uh, I think she's finally lost, lost her mind! mind. What did you say? Uh, Come on, say it again! I dare you! I double dare you! Oh, we didn't say anything! Really, no offense, Cat, but ease up a bit. Uh, oh, was that too much? Look, I'm afraid that your understanding of Jijo football is still quite a distance away from ours. Do you understand what Sean is trying to say about distance? He means you should put some more distance between us by leaving right now. Uh... No, Cat, I didn't mean that at all! <laughs> Hey, Sean, shouldn't you be running after her? That's what they do on TV, isn't it? But, but, but we're not on TV, though. Ah, uh, forget her. She'll come back when she's over it. Come on, guys, let's keep watching the game footage. What's going on? That was a really long kick. Even I could see the ball was heading right. So why did he dive left? 
That's pretty weird. Yeah, and if even Timmy can see that, then there must be something seriously wrong with that goalkeeper. What did you say? Well, it's true, isn't it? <laughs> even the worst goalkeeper in the whole sport wouldn't have got something like that about it. I wonder, could it really be magic? I think I've got it. We watched the whole game a couple of times. They committed at least 20 fouls, but the referees only called them out three or four times and gave them yellow cards. So why didn't the refs see the other fouls? Hmm. I got over 20 years of experience playing AI football, and there's nothing I can think of that explains this. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. We haven't got a single clue. We were hoping you could say something a little more constructive. Constructive? All right, then. The only analysis I can make right now is that this magical something, something team is deliberately organizing and controlling these fouls in method and timing. The thing is, even the best scams of this type get discovered sooner or later. We saw in the footage that when the players are caught committing a foul and get a yellow card, they never commit another foul, preventing them from getting a second yellow card. And obviously, preventing them from getting ejected. Sorry guys, that's about all the analysis I have for you right now. I hope it's enough. But why didn't any ref call a foul on them? There are three of them, after all. Hmm? Oh. What, what is, is it? Did, did you, you think, think of something? something? Nope, can't think of a thing. What? Uh, hey, give me some time to think about it. Well, that was useful. I think we should ask somebody else. Yeah, we need to meet somebody who's played them before. Hey, wait! deal, Danny. You agreed to come and meet with us, but now you won't talk to us? What's going on, man? You must talk to your goalkeeper. Didn't he tell you why he dived in the wrong direction? Okay, fine, but how does that keeper usually perform? Does he make a lot of mistakes, or is he pretty reliable? Yeah, this has nothing to do with Team Magical thingy. He's just a bad goalkeeper. You can tell that just by looking at him. He probably hasn't even saved a ball in his life. Well, my yeah. player's ten times the man you are. You're trying to run out of bounds with that stupid pig dozer tackle move. I watch TV, you know. Don't criticize him. Yes, but anyway, how did Team Magical Illusion manage to score so many goals on you then? Magical Illusion? Is that really their name? Mm, after we played that team, every single player in our team was injured. I need to get revenge on them badly. Will you really help me teach them a lesson? Hmm. I promise to help you. If you promise to tell us how they managed to score so many goals. It's because they use... They use what? Oh, uh, Because they use magical magic! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My goalkeeper told me that the player and two others take a shot at exactly the same time. Sometimes, this creates the illusion of multiple balls. He can't tell which balls are real and which are fake. Talk about the ultimate nightmare for a keeper. Is that really true? I'm huh? way better at TGO football than you. Why would I lie? It's magic. Come on, Isaac. There's no such thing as magic. Magic is just a fancy word for cover-up. That's right, there's the latest GGO model. He's definitely the best player in the shop. So then, boys, do I have a taker for this guy? Ah! Ah! Are you okay? What are you staring at? You think this is funny? Back off! What, you've never seen a girl? GGO football? Well, I am, and my team is amazing. They even made it through the elimination round of the national tournament. Y you've got it wrong. We weren't laughing at you, a and I know lots of girls who play GGO football. Pah, whatever. 
No way, you're from Team Barefoot. I love you guys. I've watched you on TV. Huh. Now you know where I'm coming from. And you'd better be scared, buddy. Got it? Yeah! Seriously, I'm a big fan. I love all your players, especially Myth. Mm, yeah, me too. They're totally awesome. Now that is how you flatter a girl. Uh, do, 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 do you think you could sign this for me? Since you love Team Barefoot so much, mm. why not? So, what position is it that you control on the team, anyway? Why, I'm their manager, of course. Ooh. They wouldn't have won a single game if I wasn't cheering them on. You're what? A cheerleader? Uh. Uh. Hey! There's nothing wrong with being a cheerleader! Uh, excuse me. What is it? <laughs> no, no, nothing. I just want to see if I can help you. You can. I want my own GGO footballer. Right, that's our specialty. We have many, many different models here, all with different styles, features, and functions. Is there anything in particular you want? I don't care about the features and functions. What I want is a good-looking one. There's nothing wrong with me, so why are you taking so long to inspect me this time, Isaac? Oh, there's no reason, Myth. I just wanted to be thorough, that's all. I know what you're thinking. You're trying to find out why I couldn't use Roaring Flame Strike, right? Look, Myth, a GGO footballer's shot strength is mostly governed by power from the legs and the energy output value. I inspected everything just now, and it seems to be completely normal. So if the problem isn't there, then where is it? All right, all right. I agree with your analysis, but that means that a third element within my structure or software is affecting my performance. Mm. What do you think it could be? The only difference between this game and the last is when I made the Roy and Flame Strike. I think my desire to fight was slightly higher than the last game. Well, based on the usual construction of a GGO footballer, emotions shouldn't affect either your power or skill. Although for humans, emotions can be an enormous influence on their performance. Which means... Are you deaf, boy? I told you to come and get your dinner! Uh, uh, yes, Isaac, I, I think I understand what you're saying. Get downstairs right now! Uh, I can walk, you know! Are you ready? I hope so, because the first match of the elimination round of the GGO National Tournament Final 16 is about to start. Uh, 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 where is Kat? Her team is about to play an important game, but she's just nowhere to be seen. And where's Team Magical Thingy? Last time they fired machine guns into the crowd. I wonder what kind of vengeance they're going to make this time. I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I can tell you're nervous, but don't worry. I'm 100% positive we can come up with a way to deal with these guys. <sighs> Maybe. Uh. But I still wish we had time to figure out their tricks. What is this, some kind of Hitchcock attack? What's going oh, up over there? Wow, check it out. Look over there. Hello, everybody! Hi! Wow, these guys are totally ridiculous. Look at the balloon, Daddy. is to watch those idiots dancing! Yeah. Ta-da! Hey. We hope you like our special gift to you. There's no need to thank us. We just wanted to repay you for all the support and love you've given us so yeah. far. You're all just so wonderful! Wonderful! <laughs> Ew! Daddy, I'm scared! Oh, get out of here! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. 
maybe you don't love us quite as much as we thought you did, but that's perfectly okay. We don't mind. No, no, not at all. But believe me, you, you'll love us to death after we beat Team Barefoot 10 nothing. That I guarantee. Love us to death! Uh -huh. Ah! I told you to repeat the whole sentence, you idiot! You're liars, cheats, and your tactics are despicable. And we will beat you, not the other way around. That's a promise. Ooh, we'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see! This is it, the first elimination match of the GGO National Tournament's Final 16. Today's game is between Team Barefoot and Team Magical Illusion. Flint is Team Magical Illusion's left forward. He's an average player and has less skill and speed than other GGO footballers. Despite being a subpar player, he helped his team get to the final 16 through underhanded tactics and hidden rough tackles. He wears sparkling illusion boots and can make an illusion inducing shot called Sparkling Strike. Stand up and shout, G -G -O. you got to play to win. G -G 